Hey guys, currently at Half Big Internship Saigon. So, Anna, what you working on? Uh, right now, I'm working on the newest um, product that's gonna be coming out. It's uh, gonna be a children's book uh -huh. showing the joys of photography and showing kids how they should start uh, photography. So, can you give us a preview? Alright, so starting off. I'm just gonna move the mic, sorry for the noise. Okay, so starting off. Starting off right here, it's gonna be the main character. Her name is Amelia. Uh -huh. Little girl, and her world's all gloomy. She thinks uh, life is boring. Zoom in, enhance. Oops. Zoom in, enhance. Okay. And then, one day she goes exploring in her garage. And then she finds a magic cell phone. And then she discovers with the magic cell phone, her world becomes all crazy, lit up. And then she starts going on a little adventures, seeing how beautiful the world is, taking photos on her phone. Here she is, taking some more photos. She enjoys um, taking photos of her grandpa, all smiling. She, she takes a little selfie. She shows all her friends who's impressed. She gets all excited. She can't wait, ho can't wait to go home and show her parents what she did. So you drew all these by yourself? Yes. In Illustrator? In uh, Illustrator. And then here she's gonna be she's all ex is. excited to show her parents what she did, but her parents are on their phones, doing Netflix, emails, whatever. Then she gets the attention of her dad and parents like, Hey you guys, you're using your phones all wrong. You're supposed to be using it for photography. And then here she's gonna have all the photos that she took of today and that's gonna be it okay cool um pull up the the google docs of the actual poem do you have it with you yeah. so here's all the lines and then so here's a little outline of the themes for why we wanted to create this book is to one show kids how and why to take photos help appreciate the beauty around them and that photography brings people together as illustrated with her parents kind of giving her the cold shoulder when she gets home and then they it shows the parents to appreciate also life around them through her photography all right so why don't uh we'll just do a quick do a quick narration of the book okay so amelia walks down the street dreaming of new friends to meet she winds and wanders down the block stomping and kicking around little rocks with a big sigh, she wonders why every morning is oh so boring. Amelia, it's okay to be bored some days. There are many things to play in new ways. Even at home where things seem boring, there are new corners worth exploring. What's in there? Thrown away with no care. It's shiny and smooth with buttons and grooves. It's a magic box. It helps her see in 3D. She sees bright colors, fresh with new eyes. Things once hidden from view no longer disguised. Amelia lifts the box high to the sky and says, Oh my! The magic box captures her joy and glee, sweet dreams and memories. Bright orange butterflies flutter and flicker, quicker and quicker, against the blue skies. Is that a seven, excuse me, it's gonna be six, spotted ladybug behind the rock she kicked? How did she miss this little bug friend hanging out on a stick? Wow, what a sight. Can she capture the light? Click the button, don't be shy. Just wave and say hi. Hi. Hello. Where is the sun? Is it behind or in front? Let's move our feet and go on a hunt. Can you help Amelia find things to shoot? It can be weird and funny or cute. A triangle, a square, flowers big and small. A red ball, green trees, short and tall. Take photos of people you love. Don't forget to give them a hug. Even when it's sad and dreary, take photos that make you smile and cheery. Amelia shares the photos of her exciting day. 
Her friends look and say, wow, no way. Where did you find all this interesting stuff? Amelia explains, it wasn't that tough. Amelia runs home with a skip in her step to show her parents the photo she kept. Today I saw an orange butterfly against the blue sky. I made a ladybug friend. I saw many things again and again. I saw all kinds of shapes, big and small. I made people laugh. I wasn't scared at all. But Amelia's parents are distracted with their own little boxes, clicking and swiping with lots of typing. They do not notice their daughter recount her day when she learned about beauty and life through play. Picking and pulling, Amelia explains, guess the name of this magic box game. I can capture the beauty around me and share with all others all that I see. I peer closely, walk slowly, crouch down, and look up. I take chances, make friends, and never give up. Guess the name of this magic box game. It's really not that hard to explain. We just need to use our eyes and see the beauty of life through photography. Yay! So Anna, can you describe... Sorry, put on the microphone. Um, can you describe your creative process and essentially like why are you so excited for this uh, children's book we're doing, my first photography book? So um, the reason why I'm really excited to create this book is I have all these, you know, childhood memories of my mom reading me Dr. Seuss books and they were all very, um, like, feet all the stories she read to me had themes of, you know, something that me as like a five-year-old was able to understand and to appreciate life more. And I think photography, you're never too young to start. And then this is, the character Amelia is based off of Cindy's niece, Amelia. And she even uh, takes uh, photos on the phone and the iPad. And it just uh, really shows the adults how to kind of be like a kid and just appreciate the beauty of everything around them and just to appreciate life too. Hmm. And uh, Cindy. Hi. So Cindy's actually the mastermind behind the, the book and project and she made all these dope rhymes. So can you uh, share what's your vision of the, the book or the project Cindy and why are we working on it? I think we're just so excited to be able to create something that both influences the gener the next generation, but also I feel like we also learn the most from young people, from children. So it's not really just for children to read, it's for their parents to read, it's for adults. It's a life lesson that we can really just remind everyone of every age. Uh, we just had so much fun with it. Like yeah. Eric grew up loving Dr. Seuss, so a lot of that was influenced by Dr. Seuss. And we just spent up like stayed up really late to like 3 a.m. making these rhymes and creating a rhythm and laughing and giggling and then seeing Anna's design. It was really just collaborative because we'd be like so stoked by Anna's colors and shapes and then we'd be like, oh this would be great and then wouldn't it be so cool to have like a ladybug with numbers on it and so we're really excited for it to create something that um, is meaningful for everybody. And Anna, can you zoom into some of your favorite drawings? And share why some of these drawings are actually particularly interesting to you? Uh, well, I really like uh, this one. This is a kind of the the overall style I wanted to, an aesthetic I wanted to go for. And it just kind of like shows that, you know, it kind of distorts reality in a little bit, but it's still uh, fun and interesting to look at. And I also like this one. It's uh, quite fun, just the, the angle and it just kind of makes you know, you reminiscent of being a kid again and like playing around with boxes, everything's so big. And then uh, I really like this transition going into the bright colors. So it's really fun to just, you know, have really bright, colorful um, colors that just contrast with like the black and white before. Then, um, yeah, just like uh, all these uh, colors like this. How do you choose a color palette? Uh, I was very inspired by Dr. Seuss, but I made it, um, Dr. Seuss kind of uses a mixture of very muted and bright colors. I just wanted to keep everything uh, very bright and cheery. 
Oh, this is my favorite one, the last one. Zoom in, in the hands. So I kind of love this idea too because uh, the reason I love the book project is that it teaches you that you can find beauty anywhere you are. And also like, it's honestly more for us as adults, not the kids, because it teaches us to see the world once again in fun and new ways and to teach us through children's books because often children's books are more about educating the adults than educating the children. All right, so super excited to have everyone. So having Anna for Saigon uh, internship, having Cindy, having Jennifer too. And uh, yeah, if you want to pre-order the book, send an email to us at hapticindustries at gmail.com, link below, and use it to empower you and your staff. And I'm going to enjoy this nice coffee shop we're currently in. And remember, uh, as a photographer, just always treat yourself like a child. Always make photos that put a smile on your face. Don't take it too seriously and always put a smile on your face.